Today we're going to be taking a look at a limited edition Graham Farish boxed train pack. Roll the intros. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Chelmsford Junction, I'm Peter. As the title suggests, today we are going to be taking a look at a limited edition Graham Farish boxed train pack. So without further ado, we're going to spin the camera around and get straight into looking at the box and the train pack itself. So this is the pack in question and this one is 370-430. That's the catalogue number. Obviously, it's Graham Farish, so it's an N-gauge uh, train pack, and it's made by Backman. And obviously, you've got the website there. It's called the Capital Connection. It's based on the 30th anniversary of Network Southeast. So obviously, that's the front of the box. The side, or one end, shows you the actual pack itself. It also comes with a signal box, I hopefully believe. And you get a class 47, and you get a Mark II TSO, Mark II BSO, and I believe a Mark I RMB. I'm not sure if they're in the right order, or if I called them the right, but it comes with three carriages, as well as the Loco and the signal box. Again, the top side is just exactly the same, just in blue colouring. On the ends, it shows you the uh, it's just couple connection, Graham Farish Engage made by Batman. And again, the same on the ends. On the back sides, you get a nice little history there of the network southeast, how it was brought to fruition and how they ran, where they ran to and from, etc. etc. What I might do is guys I will try and take a picture of this at the end of the video and if you want to pause the video you can read that uh, if you wish to. But you've got some nice artwork on here as well. Obviously you've got one there on the main line uh, an illustration an artist illustration there that looks like it could be from London Waterloo and again this one here which looks like it could be the last run um, photograph of Network South these days and again it looks like it could be based at Waterloo again I'm not sure if that is correct and I do believe it is this loco that is pictured in the picture there but also at the bottom it gives you a brief description of the Batman Collectors Club obviously with the Batman Collectors Club there is two versions double O gauge version if you're into double O gauge like I used to be or you have the N gauge version so it gives you a choice of two options there. I'm hoping that they might actually bring it out for um, 009. Hopefully, you never know, they could bring it out for O-Gage and things like that. So you never know. If you put pressure on Backman and Graham Farris to bring out more in the Collectors Club, you never know, they might bring it out for more scales in the future. So I'm going to just quickly pause the camera, guys, and we're going to start opening the box and see what we get inside. Now, this item was bought from the Seven Valley Railway at Bridge North at the uh, little model shop there, which is obviously a, also a souvenir shop. This was bought back in April at the Spring, uh, spring uh, Steam Gala. So, straight away, oops, you've got some paperwork, the usual Batman Collectors Club there. You've got the exploded diagram of the local and how to take it apart and all the parts and again where to fit a DCC chip and obviously oiling tells you how to run it in what curves it can go on body removal lubrication etc etc that's the boring bit so as you can see it comes in a very very nice presentation 
like I said, you get the signal box, which is a rather fetching pinky colour. Not sure where this box, this signal box is from, um, or what it's called, but it's okay. It's a bit girly pinky, but it'll be okay. Will I be using this? No, I'll just leave it in its packaging. So let's get this bit out as well. So then you get the usual polystyrene box uh, insert and you get the free coverages and the loco and it comes in the usual um, ice cube formation. Just going to lift this out a little bit more guys to see if there's any more documentation. Yep there is. In the bottom, once I can get my fingers on it, a bit awkward to get out guys, hold on two seconds, there we go. So we put them bits back into the box. So we get a very nice old Network Southeast ticket holder and a network card there, which is obviously what you would have had back in the day um, with the validation until your ticket number, issue two and a second holder. So, you know, that's taking you back, back into the 90s. So that's quite a nice touch. Well, again, will I use that? No, definitely won't be. You also get a little set of postcards. I won't be taking these out because it'll probably be a mission to get them back in. But that's another nice little set. And you also get the limited edition or fantasy card. And I've got number 107 of, this, of these packs. I think these might have been a 500 or 750 set but i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i've got 107 so there you go that's the actual set itself so let's get the loco out so it comes with a little bag of extra detailing parts at that end So obviously once, if you know you're into your Graham Farish and Dapol and Engage, um, obviously you usually get the plastic, real hard plastic case, and then you get these inserts that are now used. Just whip, quickly whip this out. Now this one is number 47581, and it's called the Great East or Great Eastern. So obviously it comes with couplings at both ends. You can decide whether you want to take a coupling off at one end, but you can see underneath the insides, there's not much detail on the bottom. Detailing on the side of it, very, very nice detail. Very, very nice printed livery. And I believe this is the revised uh, Network Southeast. Don't quote me on that, guys, but if I am wrong, then please let me know in the comments below. Got very, very nice roof detail. And again, nice front detail. Now this does have working head and tail lights. And there is no driver. So if you are thinking of trying to put a driver in there, then good luck. Because so I don't know if you'd be able to get one in there at all. Um, so I'm not sure if the actual cab is part of the moulding of the actual body, the top body itself. But that's the loco. I'm just going to quickly pause the camera, guys, and we'll get one of the coaches out. So, like I said, these are Mark II carriages. The underside detail is quite nice, nicely picked out under there. I don't know if you can actually see that, guys. I'm trying to get it in the shot for you. The side detail of the carriage is very, very nicely done. It feels like it has got flush glazing. Again, it's got no passages in the sides. The ends are a nice colour. Now, I don't know if that is an official BR colour, but obviously, if you wanted to, you could weather this and make it more realistic. Um, the roof detail, again, all the bits are in the right places. The livery is being put on very, very nicely. And it comes, obviously, as a pristine condition, you know, as it would come straight out of the paint shop, which, all in all, Three coaches plus a loco, you've got a nice little train pack there. So, before I get this little signal box out of the box to give you guys 
a closer look and it's not plastic it feels like it's a kind of like a, a resin based product but you can see it's actually got some a little bit of nice weathering on top of the roof there like i said it is a rather funny shade of pink um there is no name on the signal box i don't believe oh yes there is actually hold on it's maxi named downham market so if you live in the area of downham market and you've seen this signal box then let me know in the comments and if you're on facebook if you look up look me up on facebook if you can send me a picture of this signal box if it's still around that'd be quite nice to see but and was it ever in this color um i do like the color because one of my favorite colors is pink um but for a model railway it's a bit of a marmite color i think but that's the little signal box and i think with a little bit of if you used to put this on your layout and you know a bit of shrubbery around it i think it would look quite nice and blended in has got the cut out there for where obviously all the levers and the wires would come out for the point rod in and the uh, signal wires so that's an obviously another good little touch there so again that's something that you could probably hide with a bit of um weathering and ground covering etc so that's another nice little touch and it is hollow on the inside so if you wanted to put a light in there to illuminate it that is very easily done there'll be no drilling of the actual structure to be able to put an led in it to light it up so that is a nice little signal box for the set so what i'm going to do now is i've just got the local out of the presentation box i'm leaving the coaches in there because i can't really run coaches on my layout indoors uh, in my house because it's only 10 foot long and there's a depot scene so it's not really an area where i can run the coaches but I might do a future video, uh, running video, when I go to Warden Mod Model Railway Club uh, one Tuesday evening for a bit of a running session. So I'm going to take you into the front room, guys, with the uh, new loco on my layout. So as you can see, the loco is now on the side in, ready to go onto the main layout. Now, I haven't used my layout for a little while, and I haven't cleaned my track, so it could be a bit juddery because of dirty track but let's see what it's like straight out of the box well it's definitely moved so straight out of the box seems to be running very well it's a little bit noisy but could be where it's been stored for quite a while because this set has been out for quite a long time um could do a bit of oiling but it could just do with a good running running in as well and for those of you that do watch my channel you can probably see just around there is another one that i got for my birthday in april which i haven't done a video on yet and i'm gonna to have to do a video on that one as well because that is another nice set but as you can clearly see it's running quite nicely it's quite happy doing quick changes of direction the front headlights are working quite nicely and it does have minute but you can obviously if it was darker you can see the tail lights working but straight out the box it's a nice little runner and i like it thank you to my wife for actually getting me this set like i said it was purchased at the seven valley railway and if you go in there they got a lot of nice models in double o gauge n gauge and also 009 gauge and there's a lot of good souvenirs to be had as well so I'm gonna stop it there guys and we're gonna to go to the last bit of the video so what do I think of the new train pack from Graham Farish the capital connect very very nice presentation on the box very nice artwork on the front and back and sides 
the um, limited edition certificate looks very very nice the little bits and pieces it always should you get in there the postcards or the, you know the little pictures the ticket holder that you would use back in the 90s and obviously the usual do's and don'ts and how to run in instructions all very nice the actual loco itself as you saw straight out the box that is the first time that has ever touched a, uh, any rails um, that I know of obviously apart from obviously if it was tested in the factory it's the first time it's gone on my layout so you have seen on this video the first time of it running it runs very very nicely and I do believe if you listen back to the video the more I made it go up and down and back and forth the quieter it was getting so like I said a good half an hour each way of running in will do the low coat the most power of good and maybe a very very light oiling um would I recommend you going to get in one of these packs if you're into your network southeast and it's something that you haven't got like a class 47 um in network southeast because obviously the the main workhorses of the network southeast back in the 90s and the 80s were the class 50s for network southeast so a 47 in network southeast I didn't really I didn't see them much uh, as a teenager when I was growing up in, in and around London uh, it was always a class 15 and obviously onto the multiple units but it's a nice nice set um, will I use the coaches obviously if I go to Water Model Railway Club for a running session obviously I'll take the coaches and run the coaches behind the class 47 as well would I get any more coaches Possibly I might try and get another three or four coaches to make it a nice rake of seven, maybe eight. So I might have to get another four or five carriages. But that's something to look forward to in the future. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. As always, I've enjoyed making it. If you have liked it, please smash that like button down on the left-hand side. If you're one of my subscribers that have been me for a very long time, I hope you're still enjoying the content. And a great big thumbs up, as always, for staying with me. If you're not a subscriber and you would like to subscribe to the channel, you know what, how it works. Just hit the little subscribe button down on the right hand side. Click on the little bell icon, select on all, and then you'll be notified of every time I upload a new video. The next video probably coming up, I, like I said, I will be doing a look at my uh, birthday present from my wife and my daughter. Um, that is a Dapple set with an, uh, also a Dapple coach set. So that will be a forthcoming video. Apart from that, not got much planned. Um, things are happening more at home at the moment. So I haven't got as much time for model railways and normal railways. But you never know. If weather improves, um, then I might you know, do a bit of a spotting session up at uh, Streetly Gate at Sutton Park. Sutton Coldfield Park. So, and you never know. You might find me at a preserved railway somewhere along the line. Not going to waffle anymore, guys. If you want to carry on watching videos from my channel, there should be a link coming up here and here. Until the next time, take care of yourselves, protect your loved ones, but above all, happy modelling and bye-bye from Chelmsford Junction.